We have the Super 7 edger, which all this stuff that we're going over should be comparable to any other edger for the most part. They have the same adjustments and all that kind of stuff if it's normal non-toe kick edger. Now that we think we have it set up where we want it to go, we have it cutting right here so we know our scratch pattern is right there. Now it's time to do a section and see if we have good results. So what we're going to do is this little area right here and then we'll run our hand across and see if we feel if the floor is flat. And since I've already sanded this flat and it feels flat, if it's not flat then the edger is what's creating the non-flatness. So to edge, this is an easy way for beginners to learn how to edge and I recommend if you're not doing stains to do it this way to begin. Because if you're using a water base or even an oil, you're not going to see any edger marks if they're minute from the 100 grit or even 80 grit on oak or something like that. Is we're going to go along the base right here and then we're going to go up and down. And this is an easy way to ensure that your floor is going to be flat because we're using this as our hard point to get it down to wood. And then as we go over our each inch, this is kind of feathering it out and this is, this is really cutting right here. So feathering and cutting. So this is kind of like a beginner way of doing edging and um, I, would, I would suggest if you're new to doing edging to do it this way just to make sure your floor is flat and you don't create any ridges because once you hit finish onto wood and there's a ridge it's going to pop out like a sore thumb and also I would run my hand with my hands out like this going this way and also going like this. If you go like that and you can't feel anything it's probably going to be flat because you're kind of over a nice big area and you can feel. Don't try to do like, you know, a quick room. You're not going to ever feel if it's fat, just flat. Just go nice and slow and feel. If you feel like it's wavy, then it's going to be wavy. And it's going to look worse when the finish hits it. All right, so we're going to go up and we're going to go up here. And then we're going to go up and down. And when we go up and down, we want to do about a half an inch to an inch over. So that way we're not jumping areas because this is doing a hard cutting. If we jump too much, the hard cutting gets skipped and all of a sudden you have a peak right here. And then the feathering action doesn't do any feathering at all. Also before we begin the edger, on this, on a house, we want to make sure we put Velcro right here. And we want to make sure the Velcro is in good condition. Velcro is pretty thin, so you're going you're to still get close to the uh, wall, but you're not going to damage the base. So right now this would not be acceptable. All right, so now here we go. We're gonna try doing edging right here. And, we'll, and this is just a test to see if our samples over here that we did work on a real world situation once we think we have it set up. If it doesn't work, we're only gonna do a two foot area so we can, we can readjust if we need to. But by only doing a two foot area, we're not wasting our time on the whole house and then having to go re-back and refix everything. Cause it's really hard to fix peaks and, peaks and valleys if we have them. So let's do a test. So we got pretty close to the base right here. Granted, this isn't a perfectly straight edge, so we're gonna see underneath the base. Um, but we got all the finish off. Now I'm gonna run my hand this way, and then I'm gonna run my hand this way. It's pretty flat. Um, granted, you do see some scratching right here, but we're gonna go over it with the 100 grit again. This is 80 grit, so you probably won't see those. But also, once the water hits it, it's not gonna be seen at all. So you want to go, just to recap, you want to go slowly this way, but not too slow, and then go over it this way, not too slow either, but also not jumping too far ahead. You want to make sure you get that nice cutting action. So let's imagine this is going through half my edger. I'm only cutting a half inch on this side and a half inch on this side. So then when I come, I'm going to go up and go back down the same area. Then I'm going to go over a half an inch, so we're cutting right here still, this way. So about a half an inch to a three quarters of an inch, or maybe even an inch, whatever you find the best, but that will get you perfectly flat.